see. All right. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Austin Brightall, Brightall of Performance, coming at you live. How's it going, everybody? It's Tuesday. Um, here, let me do something real quick. Whoop, there we go. Is that bright? How's it going, everybody? What's up? Don't press buttons. No, you're going to mess things up. How's everything going, guys? Um, so it is Tuesday. Um, stay home daddy right now. And, you know, this is my life. So I figured I would, you know, have to watch him. But I still want to go live, provide value for everybody. Even though I got shit going on in my life, doesn't mean, you know, it's not going to work. So today's topic is does like meal timing make a difference? Like, I hear people all the time, they're like, man, I'm sorry, like, you know, I skipped breakfast. Like, I know that's bad. And it's like, where'd you hear that from? You're like, oh, you know, that's just something that I've heard. And, you know, I assumed it was right. And, you know, breakfast, you know, they say is the most important meal of the day. Um, but I'm here to tell you guys, and that's a bunch of bullshit. Um, breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. He's over there. Breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. Um, no meal is inherently more important than the other. Um, like, not significantly. Dun, dun. You want to come over here and sit on my lap? Okay, you're going to chase the cat? Okay. Um, anyway, so meal timing is not important. Uh, people all the time say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It's not the case. Um, dinner is not important. A lot of times people are like, oh, like, you know, I'm going to eat after, or I ate something after like 7 or 8 p.m. And or I ate something right before I went to bed. And they're like, ah, I know it just stores this fat whenever you eat right before bed. It's like, it really doesn't. Your body um, does not magically start turning everything you ate into fat just because you did it right before you went to bed. Um, there are some things that like can potentially uh, be a factor in terms of, uh, you know, affecting your quality of sleep. Uh, if you go to bed, uh, eat, eat right before bed, because you can have like, like acid reflux and stuff like that, which can cause you to not go into as deep of like REM sleep and things like that. But in terms of overall meal timing, non-significant, um, it doesn't matter. You, you, you can eat, you know, pretty much all of your food in like one or two or three big big meals you can eat it in five or six meals split up uh in terms of like bodybuilding ideally they say between three and five meals a day but honestly the impact of that like does not that's just to maximize like nutrient absorption um and muscle protein synthesis and things like that uh not not a big deal um so long story short uh meal timing does not matter significantly at all um so you can eat oh you want to come up okay ah. so you can pretty much eat your meals at whatever time you want to you want to go get jinxie say hi everybody hey buddy okay you want to go chase jinxie okay go chase jinxie um and so because of that um you know it does like all that really truly matters is the total amount of calories that you're getting in in a day within like it could it could be if you want to think about it on a yeah okay sorry that this is so discombobulated everyone but anyways so so the um so, so basically what i'm getting at is Think of it more like on a like time, time scale, like, you know, within 24 hours, how much did I eat that day? Not, you know, when I ate it during the day itself, or think of it from like a, a weekly, like span of time, like how much was I eating in a week? No, that's a fan. We're keeping it on. It's hot in here. Um, and so, yeah, no. Um, and so, yeah, so long story short though, like meal timing does not matter. Like it's not significantly like important. Um, you can eat, you can skip breakfast, eat lunch, dinner. You can skip, you know, dinner and just eat breakfast and lunch. 
you can, you know, pretty much like, or if you're somebody who's into intermittent fasting uh, and you like that style of like, you know, eating, you can eat all your food in like one, like really big meal. Like it's really not that big of a difference. You're not going to get the maximum benefit from your protein if you're hoping to like build muscle, like, like bodybuilding style and things like that, or like just building muscle in general, I guess. But like, it's not, it's, it, that's again, not significant, not super significant. And yeah. So long story short, again, for like the eighth time that I've said it, just because I keep getting distracted for obvious reasons, be careful, um, is meal timing doesn't matter. It's not important. Um, so don't feel bad or don't let anybody else make you feel bad for skipping breakfast, for skipping lunch, for skipping dinner. As long as you're eating consistently a specific amount of food that meets your nutritional needs for your goals, you're good to go. Um, and <laughs> you want to stay up here? And so, you know, like eating right before bed, not, not a big deal. Eating, you know, <laughs> yeah, this life's messy, but you know, life's messy and that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So long story short, again, 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 uh, meal time, it doesn't matter. Hope that helps explain everything for you guys. Um, next time somebody says, you shouldn't skip breakfast, send them this video and tell them, mind their business. Hope everybody has a great rest of your day. And I'm going to keep on dealing with this one. Huh. 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 Hope everybody has a great uh, Tuesday. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow with a more structured and less crazy, hectic, hectic uh, day. So uh, have a good one, everybody. <laughs> yeah. See you, Facebook. <laughs> Say bye, Facebook.